Some of the training that we offer, executive overview, that's for executives, you know, that's an executive level, so that they have a broad understanding of what this can do for your company. Systematic for, for molders, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of an entry level. We, we teach on the four plastic variables, um, what each plastic flow rate and what affects plastic flow rate and how to optimize that. Uh, plastic pressure, plastic temperature, and plastic cooling rate. Uh, it's, it's really a three-day uh, pretty much classroom. We, we also have a workshop that we can do afterwards, which is very valuable because you take what you learned in the classroom, apply it to your process, look at the improvement that you made to your process. I know you guys have just completed that. It was, it was good. Um, so the custom workshop, systematic for mold builders, designers, and engineers. Um, that's a good one because that brings your design, and design group and your tool room guys on board. This is all about best practices for tool design. Um, all the way from steel selection to how the process works. They need to know how the process works as well. Master Molder 1, two-week course, pretty intense. A uh, lot, of, lot of stress involved there. If you, have, uh, you know, if you have a pacemaker or something, you may not want to sign up for that course. So it's a two-week course. Half of it is classroom, half of it is on the machine, building and documenting processes. Master Molder 2, another two-week course, kind of similar, but you start to use you start to use the uh, cavity pressure technology and instrumentation. Very intense, both of them. Good courses, though. I went through them myself, and uh, very worthwhile. Train the Trainer is the last part of that Master Molder series. And if you have a large company and you want to train a lot of people, this is a good idea. Send somebody through one, through two, and on to Train the Trainer. And what that allows you to do is train our materials up to a Master not including a master molder one level, but up to a master molder one level in your facility. The other, uh, I think I said that wrong, including a master molder one level. Sorry about that. Uh, tool transfer workshop. This is a pretty good one. This is, uh, this is working on taking a, a process from one machine to another machine and being successful with it. It's a workshop on the floor actually doing this. It's pretty good. So that's some of the training that we offer that, that, that assist with the implementation. Establish early successes. Identify the low-hanging fruit. Don't go find it. You really want a success up front. You, you gotta prove to yourself and your management group that this works. Don't go find the most difficult part that you have that someone's cut the steel too big or there's just almost no way you're gonna make this work. Again, this is not, this is not a magic wand. It's, it's an optimization tool. So ensure that initial efforts are successful. This will help drive everything forward. You're gonna to get to that. You're gonna to get to those difficult processes, extremely difficult processes and make it happen. Um, and quantify successes in a monetary value. If you wanna keep this thing going, you've got to prove to yourself and your management group that our investment in dollars is, we're, we're getting a return on that. And here's how long it's taking. We generally don't see, it doesn't, if people are really doing this the right way and they're and they're keeping good notes it doesn't take long for the ROI we I personally um, have seen as as low as four four and a half weeks return on investment that's an extreme case but at this point you know once you've once you've done your training um, you've, you've stabilized your processes it's time to take that 20 percent and start doing instrumentation instrument those tools and optimize those processes Look at the results, document the results, look at your ROI, you know, make sure that you're going in the right direction, and start the instrumentation process. This is a, this is a true example of uh, some information on process improvement. This is a great way to prove that you're going in the right direction. I'm making progress. <clears throat> what we're looking at here, this customer had a two week, two week span here. This is a standard, this is the process. This is what they run. And you look at the scrap rates, it's not too bad. I mean, there's, it's not great. There's 2%, 3.5%, 6% daily. Those are daily totals for scrap. Did that for two weeks. Um, this is a machine control process, nothing, nothing fancy. This is what they've been running for quite some time. Optimize the process. And you can see that the scrap rates reduced considerably on that same part. The only thing we did is we used an instrumented mold. We put, it, we put a cavity pressure sensor in there and controlled the process. 
um, and minimize that normal variation. Viscosity variation played a huge role in this part. It had some very critical dimensions. If material viscosity changed 3%, threw our dimensions out. We had a scrap part. So by controlling the process in the cavity, we were able to almost eliminate scrap. A lot of this actually is quality scrap. They came around once an hour and took a part and did a measurement on it, and they had to throw that part away. So this one, this stuff works. You just got it, you've got to implement it correctly. You can't plug this stuff into a machine and walk away and expect these kind of results. There, there is a process. Now, we can, we can fast track you on certain jobs. If you've got a job that, that you're losing sleep at night over and you need a fast track to fix that job, we offer consulting. We'll come in, install the equipment, optimize the process before you start your training plan or anything else. That's an option as well. From there, we turned that into a dollar value so that we could share that with the accounting department and go forward with the project. Okay, now let's go, we've, we've seen our return on investment. It's 7.8 weeks on this project. Let's go forward with the next one. Let's, let's kill that 20% of our problem right now, incrementally, one after the other. So, based on, based on our knowledge and our experience, this is the, this is the most successful way to approach probably any new technology implementation, but definitely for us.